All right, guys, Jeff Simon here along with Jake and Nate is joining us here for Social Flight. Nate is an electrical engineering student at University of Massachusetts with Jake and he came here to help us on this sprint to the finish to get our panel wired up and lit up and it involved just a crazy amount of work. Um, yeah, we've talked about in the past how it's not great for video <laughs> to just show a lot of people sitting there and wiring, but I've got to tell you, every, I'm just so proud of these guys. You guys spent so much time learning how to crimp pins, soldering, putting in lines, running lines to the tail. What do you think about the project, Nate? Oh, it's been a blast. I mean, I've had a lot of fun doing all these, uh, all this wiring and, and getting everything put together, and you know, now it's time to test and see if we uh, got it all wired the right way. Yep, and Jake, you led the charge here in the background. So many different things going on. I just can't stress enough how there's there's just more, every time you think that there's a, like a certain level, like the mountain's a certain height to get through and certain number of wires, you find another system that you <laughs> always have to do. Yeah. Um, and I have to say that we could not have even gotten to this step in, in what, like, uh, it would have taken us 10 times as long, uh -huh. maybe 20 times, if it hadn't been for the approach fast stack system, right? Like, yeah, it was remarkable. So, um, for those of you who haven't seen videos in the past, approach fast stack will basically make all the wiring harnesses for you when you tell them what devices you have. And that's what they did with us. And there are hundreds of pins, hundreds of pins that are uh, connected to each other, letting the devices talk to each other. And um, when we didn't have to do that, it let us actually focus on installing all the equipment, making sure we had everything right, and yep. um, in a reasonable amount of time too. I yeah. couldn't imagine doing it without it. So there was certainly in, uh, in, uh, interconnects that still had to happen some. Uh, all the power, we're gonna pull out all the circuit breakers before we go live. We've got, um, uh, we had to run antennas. We had to get all of that done. But really, the, the, just the idea that we could put those fast stack plugs into that hub in the back, oh my God, that changed everything. So, mm -hmm. really nervous, but I'm gonna put in the avionics now, and, uh, and we're gonna take a shot at lighting it up. So, uh, let's see, let's start with the audio panel. From, uh, this is audio panel from Avidyne. It's their AMS 240, a great audio panel. And so we're going to get this mounted, and um, it's a. This is always a, a bit of a process on all of these because they go into trays, and then you use uh, most of the ounce is done with a three thirty second um, uh, screw mounting screw that you use, and you just mount it from the from the front to make sure it gets seated nicely in the back. And that work in the back, that back plane that this is seating into in the tray. Um, that's really all the fast stack stuff that we were talking about because they pretty much get that all done for you. The trays we've done back in the winter when it was cold like yeah. a while ago. Next thing we're going to put in now is going to be the Avenine IFD 550. And I'm going to very carefully load this guy in the front and slide that back into place. This has a locking cam, again, uses the same system that I'm going to look underneath just to make sure I get this in right. And that's it. It's pulling in to its connectors properly. Perfect. That's seated really nicely. And then the last step here is our Lynx transponder, ADSB transponder from L3 Harris. That's going to go in and then that uses the same system uh, screwed in over here. And we're gonna get that screwed into place. Luckily now I can look underneath to make sure I've got it right, but in reality, once we're fully mounted in the airplane, we're not gonna have that benefit. And there you go. Now that's Looks seated. Good. Okay. This is nervous. <laughs> I think we're more nervous about screens staying black or <laughs> going Smoke black or something else. So yeah. everybody did a last check, right? Y'all looked at we, powers, grounds, loose wires. Yeah, yep. we've been through this a bunch of times. All right, we're gonna leave the circuit breakers out, and we're gonna start here. The first thing we're gonna be listening for is a solenoid to click in the back. So we're gonna start with the primary battery. 
I heard a click. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So I think we've got power. We're going to try the backup battery. Hear that one click too. Yeah. Two. No smoke. We're good. Okay, so we've got power now coming to it. What should we light up next? Let's go for We're gonna need the eight. Well, enunciate uh, the indicators. Yeah. So the, the avionics, avionics bus has first. to come on. Yep. Okay. And then indicators. Yep. Should we for these guys here? Sure. There they go. Okay. Lit up. And showing it's us. It's showing that we only have the tail wheel. We have this kind of like in inverted because we're using the uh, flex alert. But our tail wheel is down and locked. That's exactly that. how it's like right now. So that's awesome. And our uh, audio panel is lit up. We can see that. That's really cool. Um, let's move to our next step. What do we want to light up next? Let's. How about the Aspen? Sure. We'll bring on the Aspen. Uh. Bring on. The yes, Aspen should go on in a second. Let's see. Oh, there we oh, go. It's <laughs> coming up. <laughs> let's bring in the 540 and let's bring in the Lynx. You hear the fan turn on. We've got fan. We've got power. Damn. Let's bring in our backups with RC Allen and AV20 coming online. Look at her go. Let's bring on our engine monitor. And I think we have, we can bring our trim system on as well. Okay, why don't you do that? Trim, trim. Yep, we've got our USB and power lighting to the back. I think that's all we have so far that we could turn on. I haven't gone and done the configuration here, but I can tell you, we're lit. We've got, what? we're going back here too in the back seat. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take the, uh, and do some close-ups in a second. But, man. We're lit! We did it! Congratulations, guys! Very cool. Oh my no. goodness. Autopilot this now. will show all these lights as they come on. That's that's what's gonna look like. We gotta bring on the autopilot. Bring on our autopilot. Nice. There she is. <clears throat> oh my goodness. We've got our trim system works on the from the stick. Oh uh -huh. yeah. We've got uh, the transmitter, we're not gonna do that right now. This is amazing. You guys want to put on headsets and see if you can hear anything? Yeah, I don't have that one. I'll put it on. You feed that through so I can get it on this side. 24 4. So if there's anything to hear, it'll be on Boston's frequency. And I'm going to step aside here and do some uh, close ups. Check, check. Can you hear me? I got you. Okay. So we can hear ourselves through You guys the, can talk to each other in that? Yeah. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Okay. Wow. Man, that's cool. We were bussing all day today getting all this stuff together. Um, Nate was a huge help. He came and uh, came up from the Cape and um, we just were doing soldering and getting the last things together. We got our AV30 in, which is gonna be for our rear passenger. And um, wow, we did a final check. It looks like everything's turning on. We yeah. got a few a few things we have to work out, like clearly our heading bug's going a little wonky. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of settings to do, so we haven't yeah. gone in. This is the first time, literally, that we lit this up. So there's a lot to do, and um, we, haven't really, uh, we haven't really finished that part of it. Yeah, lots of um, troubleshooting to go, but she's lit. Absolutely. I'm going to turn this a little bit this way now so we can just get a better uh, view of the screen. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, so we've got a long way to go to get this out. But I'll tell you, we've been building this airplane from the inside out. And this is an amazing step in that journey. Thanks again to Nate. Thanks, Jake, of course. Uh, ben, who's down at Clemson, not able to join us right now. UMass is about to start up. We're going to lose these guys. Uh, Hopefully you'll come back and help more with the build. You bet, definitely. But this whole building from the inside out, the whole point of this is so that now we can close up so much more and not worry about having to stand on our head and do so many uh, contortions to get this all to work. But it's really exciting. And uh, just want to say thanks to everybody who's contributed so far to get to this milestone. It's a really big milestone. 
This is probably yeah. the biggest milestone that we've had so far. Yeah. We, we always talk about like this whole time, like we're getting the structure together and then can't wait to light this thing up. We can't wait to light this thing up. And this is it. And now we've, it's lit. We've, we've lit it up. So um, more to do. Follow along with us for the rest of this journey as we get closer and closer to taking our fuselage out of the house and then eventually getting this T-51D Mustang in the air. For Social Flight, I'm Jeff Simon. Thank you so much. Be sure to check out Social Flight Live every Tuesday night at socialflightlive.com. We have amazing guests and uh, it's just wonderful. And also the Social Flight mobile apps in socialflight.com where there's tens of thousands of aviation events waiting for you to get you out and flying. Until next time, blue skies. <laughs>